PlayStation 5 is my, of course, my main topic today. PlayStation 5 was finally revealed yesterday or last night in uh, Finnish time zone. Um, and I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, what I think about the design and its power and of course its games, the games that were uh, revealed last night. Uh, and of course, being a big Resident Evil fan, uh, I was expecting and we get to see the first footage of Resident Evil 8. And yeah, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in the video. But let's start with the PlayStation 5 itself. Um, yeah, we already knew bits and pieces about uh, mo most, mostly about the hardware, uh, what it is capable capable of, and what its features were. Uh, those were announced, uh, I think, month or about two months ago. Uh, can't really remember, but uh, but that showcase was kind of boring, and uh, yeah, because it was all about just the uh, technical specs and nothing more really. It, it was just boring, but of course it was nice to uh, see all the features and but there was just so many technical details about just numbers that I didn't really <laughs> uh, get many of the they didn't say much to me uh, they were all about the spec numbers just but now we got to see the actual games and the design of the PlayStation 5 itself and yeah, like I said, I really, really dig this new uh, PlayStation 5 design. Uh, the black and white, it's so stylish and uh, very curvy and uh, very different from any other PlayStation consoles. Uh, if you compare PlayStation 5 to PlayStation 4, it's... Uh, it's so big departure in the design department, but yeah, it's a very futuristic and uh, stylish design, and it goes perfectly with the new DualSense uh, controller. Uh, it matches it perfectly in a. Uh, in a design way, uh, they just match perfectly. So, of course, I I was expecting something uh, similar to the DualSense controller in a design uh, in the design, and yeah, uh, it's really, really, really. Uh, cool looking console and also uh, Sony revealed uh, that there will be two models of course uh, the uh, model and the mo more expensive one with the optical drive so you can watch uh, blu-ray movies and of course play physical games and that probably means uh, that you can. Uh, I hope that you can play the physical PlayStation 4 games also on the PlayStation 5. Uh, so, as far as I know, we still don't know exactly what kind of uh, backwards compatibility it will be with the PlayStation 4. Uh, will it be only a digital? I mean, if you have a physical uh, 
Um, uh, if you have a physical version of a PlayStation 4 game, can you play that? Uh, in, I hope you can play that uh, right out of, the, out of the box with the PlayStation 5 and just put it in PlayStation 5 optical drive and it will uh, install the game just as in a PlayStation 4 uh, or will it somehow just be like the PlayStation 4 games are just uh, digitally compatible. Uh, I don't know, but I really hope that you can play, just put a PlayStation 4 game disc into the PlayStation 5 and just play. <laughs> of course, that's the, uh, that's the best, best choice. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it will be like that. I really hope so. Um, so so yeah and the other model will be a digital only which was not a surprise because uh, microsoft has uh, already done that with the xbox one uh, as i have said in my uh, in some of my videos that i actually bought the uh, Xbox One All Digital Edition uh, because I got it so cheap and I just wanted uh, an Xbox with uh, with my PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Um, so it, it was not a surprise actually that Sony also revealed their uh, all digital model of PlayStation 5. That was pretty natural choice for me, uh, in my opinion, because because uh, the game industry is going well, kind of slowly, but it it's going automatically towards the digital, you know, world. Uh, where in the future maybe there are just digital uh, games uh, that they will abandon the physical uh, physical discs. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, uh, I think it's going slowly, but firmly it's going in that direction. So. Yeah, um, what else about the PlayStation 5, really? Well, we just got to see the design, finally. So, yeah, there's not much to say more about the console itself. We still don't have a, a release date, specific release date, and we don't know the price. Uh, of course, there's been uh, rumors about the price and also about the uh, release date, but I'm pretty sure the release will be uh, Christmas time, M maybe even uh, in November, but I I'd say November slash December. And the price, I think, will be somewhere around, uh, I would say, 500 euros. Uh, yeah, about 500 euros is my guess. Uh, for the optical uh, disc uh, model and for the all digital edition, I think it will be about 100 euros less, so I think that's about 400 euros. Uh, those are my guess for the prices. And yeah, let's get to the games that were revealed yesterday. Or what I remember was, rem I can't remember 
from my mind every one of them but uh, let's start with uh, what came to my mind uh, first uh, was Ratchet and Clank and uh, I've never been a big fan of that series. Of course, I have played and seen almost all uh, all Ratchet and Clank games, uh, but I've really just uh, come. I have just finished one Ratchet and Clank. It was a PlayStation Three game, Tools of Destruction. That that is the only Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank game that I have finished and I really loved that game and uh, I really see very much uh, in the new uh, it was very uh, reminiscent of Tools of Destruction uh, uh, this new Ratchet and Clank uh, what was it named Rift Apart or something yeah Rift Apart so yeah it was very action focused what we see and we got to see uh, quite many minutes of gameplay and yeah it really reminded me of tools of destruction which is a good thing so i might actually buy this uh new ratchet and clank game i'm still not sure but i might actually buy it um and other games uh, uh let's start with the you know old ips that are just getting new sequels and the other one is hitman uh i've never been interested about the uh, hitman series it for me it's like nah really doesn't move me in any way. Uh, I've only played Hitman 2 on PlayStation 2 back in the day. Uh, and maybe the third one, can't remember. But, but the second one, was it named Silent Assassin or something? Uh, that was that was okay game, but uh, the series is not for my, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, uh, what comes to stealth games, I've been much more into Splinter Cell series and of course Metal Gear Solid. So Hitman doesn't really, it means, it really doesn't mean much to me, but yeah, we saw a new, new Hitman game and uh, yeah, we saw uh, Little Big Planets, uh, not named Little Big Planet, but Sack Boys, uh, was it Little Big Adventure or something? Yeah, uh, we saw that. Nothing really to say about that uh, personally. <laughs> uh, don't care that, don't care about that much. Uh, what else? Um, well, there was many, many India games revealed also, uh, and also new IPs. Uh, uh, there were quite many new IPs actually, which is always good when new console comes. Uh, I think, in my opinion, there has to be new IPs also. They, they just can't make, you know, sequels about the already existing game series to new uh, console. It's just too boring if you, if you don't create new IPs. So there was a couple of interesting new IPs. Can't really remember the game's names now, but there were a couple of interesting new IPs coming to the PS5. But 
Lastly, and most importantly, let's go to the one game that I will definitely buy and probably I'm not I'm still not sure but as of now I'm probably not going to buy PS5 at launch because there will be no games for uh, for me at least uh, on launch um, and I have PlayStation 4 and I have still many games that I want to play on my PS4 so I'm in a no hurry to buy PS5 but definitely I'm going to buy PS5 when Resident Evil 8 comes out uh, next year then I'm definitely going to by uh, PlayStation 5. Um, yeah, so I expected that we will see uh, Resident Evil 8 revealed. Uh, uh, I pretty much <laughs> saw it coming and it, it was rumored also that it will be uh, revealed uh, with the PlayStation 5 and yeah, I I'm really, I'm really interested and I'm really excited about uh, Resident Evil 8. Uh, but at the same time, it's such a big departure from, uh, from the series. But, well, that was already known because, uh, of course, uh, there were rumors. But there were so many rumors that it's got... The main theme is going to be, uh, you know, occultism. Uh, in, well, the settings uh, were known that it will uh, be in a snowy village, uh, snowy mountains and village. Of course, the name is village, village Resident Evil 8 uh, or Resident Evil 8 village, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, but what I'm really excited about it, uh, the trailer looked so dark and gloomy and so atmospheric that uh, that I just love it. Uh, and yeah, uh, in a story wise, I uh, it will be. Uh, kind of direct, direct sequel uh, to Resident Evil 7 that was uh, already kind of expected uh, according to rumors uh, but yeah the departure uh, it's so different because uh, well in a trailer we didn't see any zombies but of course we didn't see any zombies in Resident Evil 7 either, so... Um, but... And we didn't really see many enemies in the... Uh, I think the only enemy that was uh, clearly seen was a werewolf. <laughs> and... Yeah... I mean, I like... That idea that there are a whole new enemies in Resident Evil series but of course the roots are always in the zombies and when you just uh, mix mix that with uh, werewolves and even well, vampires we don't know uh, we don't know much about Resident Evil 8 still so I just hope that they will at least connect the pieces together that it has something to do uh, with uh, you know viruses and and the whole just series uh, I hope it connects to the series uh, you know uh, that it it doesn't feel like it's a whole new uh, game so I hope that there will be 
many connections to the series that it will in that way it will feel like Resident Evil game. Uh, really hope that. Um, and of course, uh, one good thing that we saw in a trailer was Umbrella's logo, uh, logo on the on some uh, scene. So that's a good thing <laughs> always. And we got to see at the end of the trail we got to see Chris Redfield and that was also rumored so I expected to see Chris Chris Redfield will be in a much more uh, I think in a much more uh, what was I saying um, Its role, uh, Chris's role with, uh, in RE8 will be a much uh, much bigger than uh, he was in a seven. Uh, of course, he got uh, own DLC, not a hero, but yeah, uh, the, in the main game he was just in the ending of the game, so. Yeah, I'm expecting uh, Chris to be in a much bigger role in in this new game, and Ethan, I think, will be the main main protagonist that you will play, I guess, <laughs> just like in Seven. Uh, of course, we don't know exactly that, but I'm guessing. Uh, we will play with uh, uh, play as Ethan in this game too. So yeah, the game is coming next year. Uh, there are still so much that we don't know about Resident Evil Eight, but what I saw yes last night, uh, yesterday. I'm quite excited, I have to say, uh, but in the same time a little bit scared if they go too far with the series. Uh, I mean, they took already a huge step with Resident Evil 7, but I love that game, so I'm, I'm expecting uh, to love the RE8. Too. Uh, but I really didn't uh, expect them to take another huge step because if you compare Resident Evil 7 and 8 they also are very different uh, so I didn't expect that I expected the 8 to be let's say more similar to 7 but uh, yeah, seems to be it's uh, another big step uh, in a well other direction. I hope the other direction is good direction. <laughs> uh, but yeah, mostly I'm glad and excited about Resident Evil 8 and also about PlayStation 5 itself. And the design, oh, love the new design, uh, yeah, love the new fu futuristic, sleek design, and the black and white, it's so cool. But yeah, this was my thoughts about PlayStation 5 and mostly about Resident Evil 8. Uh, so, yeah. See you in the next video. Maybe there will be some game reviews coming. I still don't know. I, I don't plan ahead really. Uh, I just come up with the ideas and just... If I come up, come up with some idea, I will make a video of it and upload it immediately. It's my style. It's the style of this channel and how I make videos. So, 
hope to see you in the next one. So, bye, Resident Evil 8 Village.